you come on. Hey, hey you guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. How have you been? I've had some days, good ones and bad ones, but we won't talk about that. I do want to point out that you don't have to worry about seeing my horrific bruises. It has healed. My arm still is pretty sore if I touch it or if I use it extensively, but it's really not that big of a deal. So just FYI, I don't know what is going on with my hair today. I don't know what is going on with this makeup look today. Like I'm channeling my inner 90s, like, I don't know. I don't know. It is perfumes I've added to my collection this video. I feel like I've had them a really long time. I feel like I've had them for a while. <clears throat> okay. So, we have some that are newer and some that are older. The perfume that I got in the Sephora sale is just gone. It's gone. Um, I don't know where it went because I put it in this, this box and the other item that I purchased in the sale is in my closet. perfume is gone so anyway um that's weird like I know it didn't get left in the Sephora box because my kids were fooling around with the box so they would have noticed if there was something in there anyway it's somewhere I'm sure anyway <laughs> the fragrance that I got was dirty Hinoki um if you want to hear me talk about it I do have my unboxing in the, uh, the odd, uh, the odd, uh, the November blog that will be coming. So sorry about that. The other item that I have here is from the indie brand Mona Lisa. And this I picked up from their Halloween collection. It's the fragrance haunted home. And this is a, like a dark gingerbread scent. Um, it is designed to replicate the smell of the Haunted Mansion holiday at Disneyland. And it really does. It is so good. It is so good. If you are a fan, like if you like the way that Disney does fragrance, like in their attractions and you like the way that that smells, or if you are a gingerbread lover, like if you love a gingerbread scent, it's really good. Um, unfortunately, it's sold out now. I can't, that I can't help you with. But next year, keep an eye out if you're interested. That's the brand Mona Lisa, and I'll have the link down below. I don't understand where that perfume went. It's so, that's so baffling to me. This, I purchased, I purchased it from a uh, seller in one of the fragrance groups that I'm in on Facebook. It is by the brand Skylar and it's the scent Lime Sands. It came brand new in the box. Um, and I wanted this because this, it was said to replicate the scent of Bath and Body Works Coconut Lime Verbena which has been discontinued and was replaced by something else I'll put on the screen here. I don't think that it smells that much like coconut lime verbena. Um, if anything, it smells like the new, like coconut lime, whatever, coconut lime water, whatever it is, mixed with the Sea Island cotton or like the like the cotton flower fragrance that fra Bath and Body Works used to do. Um, I love the packaging. It's a really clean, fresh lime scent and it has a definite like sea air vibe. The lid is bloody difficult to get off. To me, it smells like laundry detergent that scented like coconut lime verbena. It's got that white musk kind of feeling. Um, it's a really pretty clean scent. If you want a citrus that's 
not um, too oceanic. Uh, it's definitely one that I will use in the spring and summer. It's not going to be great for fall and winter. It already has like five minutes longevity. Um, but the scent itself is extremely light and it's not overpowering. So it's definitely one that's going to be going into wait for those um, warmer temperatures. From a another seller on a Facebook group, I picked up a decant of MDCI's Peche Cardinal. Peche Cardinal? Where's the emphasis go? I don't know. Um... So it just is a 10 mil decant, but oh my God, this is probably the best peach I've ever smelled. This is, this is to die for. This is like, this is like if you had a peach if you had a peach parfait, like fresh peaches with like syrup, not like honey, but like a simple syrup, just a little bit sugary over um, a very mild, unflavored yogurt. That's what this smells like. It smells edible. Oh my God. Oh my God. This has been on my wish list for a long time, and this decant just moved it right up to the top. It's so good. Another decant that I picked up, ugh, I can't get it out, is from a brand, I believe the brand is called Mona Dorio. I'll, if that's wrong, I'll write the right name up. But I picked up the scent Vani. I think it's just Vani. Yeah, that's what it says on here. So it looks like that. And this is a great vanilla. It's spicy. It's got some cinnamon probably some like cardamom. It smells like, again, it smells like parfait, but like this time it's like a vanilla bean parfait with like a cinnamon stick and some different spices sprinkled on top and maybe then a couple of like caramel drizzle. It's really, it may, it's making my mouth water. It's really good. I got this while I was sick. Um, I had a cold, so I wasn't able to like wear it fully, but I, I sprayed it to test it to make sure that it was like the nozzle and everything was okay. And I remember like being overwhelmed by it at the time, but now that I'm feeling better, it just smells like scrumptious, like delish, delish. So that's another one that I'm very happy to have. And I will probably, I can't ever say for sure, but I will probably pursue a full bottle of that when I use it up. It's only five mil. I am so discombobulated right now. I'm so sorry. Um, so the seller that sent the Vini fragrance also sent two samples, uh, Comme y Sol or Comme y Soleil. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know anything else about it um, and I haven't smelled it you should smell it I can't really smell it and then they also sent a sample of baby cat from YSL I'm not a fan of that scent it's too uh, like it's not as smooth as I would like it's a little bit too in, like in your face so those were the the little ones and then I also picked up a bottle. I'm sure everyone knows this already. I kind of sworn I talked about this. I picked up a bottle of Mancera's Tonka Cola. I just got the 60 mil size because I didn't realize that there actually were two different sizes of Mancera fragrances. And I didn't realize that the one that you always see, the big, like the big one, is a big one. Like 100 mil or something bigger like that. 125 maybe. Um... Anyway, Kim's in this. I ordered this from Lucky Scent because it was sold out. I actually didn't even think it was on the discount websites when I ordered it. Um, I got the 
decant of it and then I loved that so much that I immediately bought the bottle but I actually I really like the size of I really like the size of these smaller Mancera bottles the 60 ml um I think it's a nice size for storage I haven't sprayed it from the bottle yet but um I love this fragrance this is gonna be my go-to once I finish up um Angelic Elixir from Dua it's soy good soy good and then that is it for the newest arrivals all right guys i'm really sad that i couldn't share dirty hinoki with you um i my thoughts like i said are in the november vlog but that won't be out till the end of november um but I really love it. If you love Hinoki scents, um, if you like the Hinoki wood temple kind of incense scent, Dirty Hinoki is one of the better ones, in my opinion, um, for people who aren't wanting something overly intense, but want something like light, kind of meditative um, and comforting. So they're from, it's from Heretic Parfums, and I highly recommend that scent. It's probably my favorite fragrance that I have from that brand and I have five or six from them at this point. So anyway, that's my thoughts. I'm sorry I couldn't show you, uh, but hopefully keep my keep your fingers crossed that I find it because I'm kind of like freaking out. Anyway, thank you so much for coming today to my video. What? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!